Good morning everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. It's Friday! Yay, it's happy Friday, the end of the work week for a lot of us. And uh, so the special part about Fun Friday is that we get to learn a new technique or some fun little um, extra, I suppose, if you will. And so um, I am particularly excited about this one. I made a card like this, oh goodness, years ago, and I have not made one since. And I tell you, Miss Jill Hayden had sent me this beautiful card. My light, the light is bizarre. Isn't it gorgeous? And it's a bridge fold. So there again, and, and the cool part is that it actually just lays flat and goes in a normal size envelope. Isn't that cool? So I want to play around with this with our feature this week, which is the uh, birds and branches. I feel like I'm falling apart here or something. I <laughs> don't know which way to go. Hello, Pat. So when you join, comment lots, say good morning, chit chat amongst yourselves. It's Friday. I'm so excited about that because we get to make this cool card. I, I'm thrilled. So I've been prepping for this. This morning I already saw, I counted 45 elk. I went out there with Indy and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's elk there. And there were the, the tiny little babies. They had spots and they they were like, they make this like whale noise. <laughs> I just, I can't do it. I'm not a whale. Well, it may look like a whale, but I'm not a whale. Anyways, they were making this cute sound and some of those babies were just running all over the place having the best time ever. And then of course they were trying to cross the road and just how they would, you know, the little babies, you could tell were so apprehensive. They're just like, oh, do I go now? Do I not go now? I, like, it was just, it was absolutely adorable. And I just had to stay there and watch that because so many elk all together with the little babies um, those are moments you have to stop and cherish, right? Um, definitely. Um, nature is kind of a, an amazing thing and I'm so blessed to have it in my backyard. So um, I knew you would all understand. So I had to take that moment and just watch. So thank you, Mary Ellen. Awesome. You shared this video. I'm excited about that. I'm hoping that, uh, Others will share it as well with their friends, uh, crafty or not so crafty. Uh, even your non-crafty friends, if you think about it, if you share this video with them, they'll understand how much effort you put into making cards. <laughs> the cards that you send to them, right? So that, you know, hint, hint, this is a special piece. And some people think, oh, you know, I wanna make my own cards so that, because they're so expensive in the store. But if they, <laughs> if they saw how much, effort we put into it and effort and money we put into the supplies and whatnot they would understand how valued they are to us right anyways that's just my little spiel so yes yeah, so much fun um i am going to show you i i can't stop playing with this set i absolutely love it um this is a keeper for me you know when i first saw it i thought oh okay but now that you keep playing with it, I, so I've actually even made extra cards because I just, like I said, I can't stop playing with the set. So let me show you what I came up with. Oh, my screen's a little funky. Let's go this direction. There we go. So here's one that I continue to make. Um, this was kind of inspired by Gina's color combo a little bit. Um, so the Daffodil Delight, I've got the vellum layer there behind. Um, of course, I just used the Bumblebee ribbon, but I thought it was cute. And you know, the day we did the wreath, I, I'm calling it the wreath, but the wreath die, why can't you color in the little bits and pieces, right? Just use, you know, your stamp and blends or what have you. But isn't that a pretty card? And you know, the, the leaf stamp? Well, I just stamped that all around the outside to give it a little something. But isn't that cute? Just simple. I didn't even decorate the bird. <laughs> so neat. So I, lo I love it. I love it. 
And then of course here's, you know, last week's sunflowers really inspired me. I, I'm like, I need to every single week create a card in that fashion because I absolutely loved it. And so here's one that I made kind of in that stampy, I don't know what to call it. It's not, I guess, multimedia kind of technique. But I am in love with this, which I'm going to use on my card today. So this background kind of design look. And I'm loving these wood ele elements. Normally I don't. Normally I hate them, <laughs> frankly. But these ones are working for me. I, I'm li really liking them. And the gold pearls, of course. And had to add in the linen thread and that polka dot uh, ribbon. But isn't it cute? I like it. All right, so those are some extras. So I'm excited to, I, it's gonna be hard to stop on the weekend, I, I know it is. All right, so today's, we're doing the bridge fold. Like I said, Jill Hayden set, Peterson sent me this. Isn't it cool? I love it. And I made one of these years ago, and I haven't made one since. And, um, so her card inspired me, you know, the, the birds partly, and um, I just think it'll be beautiful once we get it all put together, just like Jill's, okay? Okay! In Jen style. Let me just, uh, whoopsie, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. Do, 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 do. I don't know, in case you want to see my facial expressions. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start off with our card base, if you will. I'm using soft suede. I'll try and list off the measurements here. If I do forget, I'm gonna have this on my blog at some point. I got caught up on Tuesday and Wednesdays. Yesterday, I need to do uh, Thursdays and today's today. Gotta get her done. Um, so this whole card base is a little bit different. It measures eight by four and a quarter. And then you're gonna score at one and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarters. So I'm gonna say that again. So if you wanna go grab a pen, <laughs> you're gonna to wanna to grab a pen to get the number for this bundle, because I know you're gonna want it. Off the wall, but I love that your grid paper is so well centered <laughs> under your camera. It is for now, Sandy. Hello, by the way. <laughs> But just as time goes on, I'm sure it's gonna be a little, little cockeyed. All right, so once again, here we go. Eight by four and a quarter is the card base. You're gonna score at one and a quarter, two and a half, five and a half, and six and three quarters. All right, easy peasy. Next, I've got, we have to cut out four pieces that are gonna kind of go on our little strips here. So what I decided on was, um, in this one, I'm just gonna use the soft suede again. So this is one by four, and I actually embossed them with the pine wood planks. So that, I think, is gonna go there, I think. <laughs> and then for the outsides, I'm not sure. Um, I did very vanilla. I think the very vanilla is going to work nicely with this co color combo. Uh, there again, one by four. You can use DSP, um, which I did cut out just in case we change our mind. But this is from the In Good Taste. It's kind of got that wood look, right? So may want to use that instead. I, I, I decisions, decisions. As as time goes on, we'll figure it out, right? Okay, and then we're gonna have a little mat for this insert piece. Here, I'll just keep these here so you can sort of see them. So this mat is two and three quarters by four. And then I'm using my one of my favorites, Seaside Spray. And this little piece measures two and a half by three and three quarters. And as you can see, I cut out that little wreath pattern here however i did I don't, there we go out of that portion 
and um, just to you know add a little something in the background and then of course we need our little strip that goes across the front to help hold everything together and so this is measuring at one and a quarter by five and a half and there again I embossed this with the pine wood planks um, these ones these strips I embossed the, the wood going up and down this one I embossed going across you like the very vanilla yeah I think it works so nicely with that um, seaside spray look I'm getting the crooked sandy <laughs> I'm accidentally moving it okay now just to add some extra I love this little piece why not we're gonna put that right there so this is a little piece of crumb cake that I cut out and what else do I got here in good taste I used those branches so I cut two of them we'll see if we use them or not um, I also did a little nest with um, so our soft suede this is actually on crumb cake and I stamped with soft suede to make the little birdie nest and then I pre-cut that out with the die um, and then I got my bird my little birdie and this is very vanilla paper and I stamped off once with the seaside spray and use the full like the full image kind of thing and then I use the kind of more detailed piece with the crumb cake to kind of make that bird more detail pop there and then lastly I use the little bird wing full strength seaside spray and then of course you cut it out with the dies easy peasy oh and I love these little eggs so I stamped with the seaside spray onto very vanilla where is it and I flipped on the crumb cake I thought oh it needs those little flecks doesn't it so cute so cute and then lastly don't know if the, where I'm gonna use them if I'm gonna use them I don't know petal pink we're gonna introduce a little bit just to change things up a little so I cut out five, two are full strength, and three are stamped off once, and cut out. So there we go. There are our bits and pieces. I also have here to play with linen thread. I've got the um, balmy, yeah, it's balmy blue um, scalloped ribbon I also have the very vanilla the lace ribbon so I don't know I don't know and right here is also the in good taste elements I believe that's what they're called so we may play around with those we may not I don't know we're just gonna kind of go with the flow we're making one card today so we can kind of have a little time to kind of experiment and 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 kind of you can help me along with this process okay okay so for the first step what I'm thinking is I'm going to do this inside part now here's my thoughts for the outside strips I'm wondering if I should use the doily and use it as a mask and create that fun pattern up there I'm wondering if I should do that on here as kind of in the background just to fill that up. The stamp set that I was going to use is um, from hmm. where did it go? Darn. I think it's called Here's a Card. But it has so many sayings for all different occasions. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, let me know. Um, there's the You Made My Day. I was going to use this the other day and I never did. 
Or, um, and along with that comes thanks. And they're both in the same font. So I may put thanks or you made my day. I can also, you know, put this on the back. I don't know. We'll play around with that. So what do you think? Should we do the lace bits on here or in here or both? And of course we could, on these side strips, use the branches, like just have lots of little branches with the leaves. <laughs> Where's the doily from? The doily is uh, square vellum doilies. They are number 152484. Aren't they cute? They're beautiful. And I thought, let's use it as a mask because I love this design. So, yeah. The square vellum doilies. And I will have um, this listed on my website. So what do you think? Should we do branch? Okay, let's start with this piece. Let's start with the middle one. Should we do doily or no doily? Masked on and different. Doily, no doily. Do you want me to show you what it would look like? Let's, let's try it. So I've got my seaside spray. I like the cohesiveness of the branch idea. Okay, so let's just, we'll go on the back of this. I guess we can try it out. If we don't like it, we don't like it. Otherwise, we can just flip it over and the magic of paper, it will have no pattern. I'm gonna stick with very, very, very light. Okay. Has anyone used these doilies on any of their projects? So I'm not, I haven't even inked up the dauber. That's how light I just, I just want it to be in the background, just a little, little hint of something, right? Just not stark, very vanilla, which looked okay too, but this was my thought plan anyways. here. I think that's it. Okay, so here's what it would look like. With just a little hint of something in the background. Okay. Not a whole lot. I can turn it that way too. So there's that kind of idea. Or here's just the plain old, very vanilla. What do you think? So Maxine says no doily. Yes, doily. Doily, doily in the middle. No. Okay, now that you've seen it, what do you think? I think I'm, I'm leaning towards no. You love that? Oh, I don't know. I think once everything's put together, I don't think it's gonna, you're not gonna notice it that much, but it'll just be that little something. You like the background? Okay, Norma says no. Let's just do it, we'll do it. Okay, so I'm wondering then for this, the sides, should we do the branches or are we just gonna go with wood? lay it out here. There again, let's try it. Let's try one side. If we don't like it, we don't like it. So here's the wood. Okay, I'm going to stamp some branches and leaves just to see what it might look like. And we can always just stamp off as well so that it's not quite so intense. 
I just know it's not going to be a very, very big space. Uh, seaside spray or takes away from the flame frame blah, blah. we could do petal pink leaves maybe it's like springtime right that could tie in the petal pink there again I'm just stamping off super super faint just oh it's kind of pretty <laughs> very pretty all the decisions you have to make when you're scrapbooking right okay or card making whichever paper crafting what do you think this may also I guess change what we decide on here I'm going to do this one with the blue leaves. We'll, we'll try that one out. Okay, so I'm going to go back in and with my crumb cake. And give up some leaves for this side. with the seaside spray which where is my simply chamois <laughs> really like the branches but not so much the DSP on the ends I'm not sure what that means branches and leaves cherry blossoms <laughs> Just like the blanche, 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 <laughs> branches and no um, petals, you mean? Oh, not the DSP, probably the wood grain. Yeah, that's probably what you meant. Got it. Okay, let's try the blue out, see what we think. love how you know even if you don't get the leaves exactly <laughs> where they need to be it still looks okay and like I've used in the past before I mean just using this as kind of a little background you know addition just to you know add a little pizzazz or something oh <laughs> Our birdie. There's our thing. There's this. Maybe some of this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. And here's our little. We can add in if we need something. Oh. God, it's Andy. Yeah. Um. I'm leaning towards the blue. Let's do blue. Okay. Let's go with it. All right. So once again, crumb cake. All sorts of ideas, right? <sighs> they all look great. Nothing was like, ugh. Oh, 
Where did I stamp off? I can't remember. <laughs> spray definitely one of my favorite blues I think the favorite well misty moonlight the new one is pretty amazing too <sighs> yes so here we go we'll add these leaves to this side Okay. Now, what I was thinking was for this little strip here, it's kind of um, plain, if you will. So what I was thinking, why not, could we take our, our stamp that has the nest on it and stamp over top, and maybe that'll give it some texture kind of look just to kind of roughen it up a little. So I'm going to use crumb cake. We'll try with crumb. Let's try it on the back. See if we like it or not. Crumb cake on crumb cake. I think it'll just make it a little. Here, let's try it once stamping off. See if we like that better. It's very, it's definitely a lot less. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I think I like the full strength. Did you share the cards you received? I have not yet. Bad, bad, bad. I have got to get to that. They're in my little box over here, ready to show off. Because they're pretty cool. A little little song okay I think we are pretty much ready to assemble so excited <laughs> can you tell oh my goodness I am I'm uh, I love this set I absolutely love it it's just I don't know it's soft and it's I mean, it can go for so many, okay, it can go for every occasion. Masculine, like this could be, males could get on this card, just depending on maybe what colors you choose, what have you, but okay, so I made kind of myself a little, ooh, 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 little bridge here, if you will. And um, let's start assembling. So I think I'm gonna start with the inside first glue am I gonna use I think I'm just gonna use the tear nope this is the plus stamp and seal we'll just use the plain old stamp and seal for this one we could always do that pattern I guess we never did do that pattern hey anywhere we can always do it on if say our card insert or the envelope just to add a little something to that. And, ooh, I wonder if we pop this up. I think that would, it would be okay. Yes, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, so I know I'm gonna need some minis as well as the regular dimensionals. Okay. Be able to pop up these little pieces, but we'll kind of get as close as we can. Without sticking out. Okay, over here. 
Uh, maybe one here too. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's gonna be cool. So cool how quiet the seal is. Yes, there's no crickets on that one. Definitely. Doesn't disturb your, your imagination, right? It's <laughs> You're thinking away, think, ah, creak, creak, creak. Yeah. Very true. Still a learning curve, I think, to uh, figuring out how to use it properly, but um, we'll get there. Okay, now to put this on the top. In the right spot. I think that looks good. Okay, now let's add our wood grain pieces to this. I'm actually going to try out this the Stamp and Seal Plus with this because it does have ridges in it and it's almost meant to kind of um, bend and flex a little bit because this paper has grooves I kind of I used to use multi per I do use multi purpose the liquid glue but let's try the stamp and seal plus for that just kind of a very subtle layer right because the only thing with this is you don't want it to go off because it doesn't really bend backwards like the old snail would. Just kind of a faint layer with the wood grain, but it's there. I could have gone over top with, kind of rubbed over top with say the soft suede ink pad and then the wood grain would have come out a little bit more. Okay, and here's our next little pieces. So cute. And our other side. Okay. Now, this piece is going to end up going across here somewhere, like so. I might go right to the ground, maybe. That way we can kind of see more of the opening. But first I do want to add this layer on here. So I'm going to get out my, let's use that Stamp and Seal Plus again. Oh, sheesh. Don't tear. So, just fits perfectly. There again, I got a little bit hanging off, but hopefully that'll be all right. If not, we can use our embossing buddy. Um, there is, or you could use even some, um, oh, what's it called, sandpaper, and just kind of, ooh, the sandpaper roughing up the, oh, that would look cool too, roughing up the um, wood grain look. That would have been fun. Okay, now we're gonna add our little, this almost blends too much with this now. What if we did this in very vanilla? I think it would stand out more because it's getting, it's getting lost. Because I did that piece there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nail file. Oh, that's smart. Smart idea. Okay. What am I doing? The nest. The nest. Here we go. Let's go with in, in the crumb cake. I assume. Maybe soft suede. <clears throat> Pardon me. These are polymer stamps, so photopolymer. So it is nice to have this foam mat go underneath. Make sure you've got a nice 
clean image. Now to pop this out. Okay, now um, we do have lots of ribbon to play with. I'm wondering. Let's wrap this. Who did I see do this? And it looked pretty cool. Um, oh, sheesh. What's her name? There's so many. Uh, darn. Anyways, it looked really cool how she just wrapped the linen thread around the bottom of the nest. Just adds a little something, hey? Just some more little texture. Okay, three times around is probably good. It's even got those little little bumps to hold your your linen thread in place. Cute. Uh, then this is going to go here. I assume I'm just going to go right in the center. Um, I guess I could pop this layer up, but I'm just going to have to make sure it goes along the bottom portion and not the top. So I'm putting the dimensionals right over top of that string, the thread, just to help hold it down there and provide some stability for that. Okay, let's add our little nest. That'll help me too with positioning because I'll know. Yep, yeah. good, good. There's my little nest. You see? All right. Oh, now the birdie doesn't show very well. So we can kind of stand out a little more if we let's see what would a little ribbon. Oop, we're gonna have a little avalanche here. <laughs> hmm, a little too wide, I think. But I do have been enjoying get tying this very vanilla lace thread and kind of just uh, putting it under the bird. So let's go with the direction of the lace. So if we even if we just kind of that might highlight the bird a little more. Okay, so I think, guess I'm going to Attach the birdie. Hmm. On top? Probably not. Behind? Maybe on top. And then we'll put the lace. But it's not going to be hanging on by much. That's my only. Hopefully it's okay. Come, come. Oh, I suppose I could have done a little more on this tail then or maybe it's her it's probably a her right <laughs> little mama all right now we can add these little eggs oh they're so cute <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit of the tape I'm feeling very sticky-ish back here so Hopefully it's all right. I was thinking about putting him 
Um, just put it there. All right. I was wondering about a little bit of petal pink. Probably should have done this beforehand, but a little bit of petal pink on his belly. On her belly, pardon me. to help tie in the petal pink a little bit. There we go. Little something. Cute. What do you think? So far so good? Oh yes, let's add our little um, lace piece here with my glue dots. Pretty, pretty. Now I did cut these guys out. I wonder what this would look like. Let's kind of lay it all together a little bit here. So neat. So neat. So neat. So neat. So then you could have, oh yes, little branches sticking up. Cute. Okay, so now to get this. So I can't go any farther than this piece, I guess. Right. Yes. I almost wonder about tucking it into here and getting the, um, using some of that glue up. I suppose we can cut this portion off and make it a little bit shorter. There, see, it's already sticky, so let's use it. This is a card you would give to somebody who really appreciates. Where did I get my top? Oh goodness, um, it was <laughs> it's an oldie. Um, I think uh, winners years ago. Years and years ago. I was kind of excited though because I put it on today and it was a little bit loose and I'm like, oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, I mean I haven't worn it in quite a while so. It might have looked, felt loose last year, but I just, you know, I don't remember. Whoops, or rip the thing right off. I was so bummed to hear that Additional will be closing. There's only so many places that us big gals can get closed. Need a little more. All right, fiddly fiddly. There, that should work. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. This is so adorable. Look at that. Okay, um, let's stamp right there and then we're going to glue everything together and add in a cup, maybe a couple of those little flowers, maybe some of those wood elements, we'll see. Oh my goodness, I am in love. I, I, I seriously love this set. I can't say that enough. I think I'm going to use soft suede. You made my day. 
Now I know ooh, it's pretty faint. I need to ink, re-ink this. I'm just going to do it quite off to the side a little bit. There. You know, I just thought of something. Oh, maybe we don't have seaside spray. Balmy blue. Oh, damn. What if I was to flick on some blue? I'm just gonna use the light. So it'll be a little hint of something in the background, but nothing too. They look right over top of everything. Yes, I like it. I like it. Alrighty. I think I'm going to end up putting just putting a few little glue dots underneath these guys just to help hold them down and hold them kind of where I want them to. Okay, so putting this all together, let's put on some of this stamp and seal. Oh, sheesh. Anybody else having that trouble? I keep ripping the paper. Let's use liquid glue. I keep ripping the paper with my stamp and seal. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but. Okay, let's fold this over. I'm gonna go right along the bottom, but you can, of course, raise it up like Jill did on her card. See, hers didn't go right to the bottom, which I think is beautiful too. Um, okay, Ooh. leaky glue. And then this one, I think you're supposed to just, I read, just leave it open and glue it down. So adding a little bit of liquid glue here mama. Just fold that down. Just lay it flat. My fingers are sticky. Let's give it a little press for a second. Now do I have, I do, seaside, or um, so Soft suede. I do have the stamp and rate marker. I was just thinking maybe we'll add a, a little bit of a darker eye. I don't know if that helps or not. Okay. All right. Oh, my lent. I'm loving it. Okay. I'm like a kid at Christmas. Um, let's see. I want to pop in a little flower. Maybe underneath. Even. We have that luxury since we popped up that blue layer. I'm going to turn it over here just to make it easier to sneak in. And I think I, I need three, right? I'm going to just use another one of those lighter ones. I could pop them up. Let's pop it up. turn it a little bit so they aren't sorry aren't going in all the same direction oh isn't that cute i think we could use a little 
put a little flower over here. Yeah, let's put them in there. Tuck it underneath. Just a little something sticking out. Is that enough? I think so. Okay, now let's see. We have, do have these little wood grain element, wood elements here. I don't know. We can also add a few little pearls, or there's the gold metallic gem. Yeah, let's add the. Let's put those right in there on those flower, the inserts of the flowers. Oh my, I, I think I hear angels singing. <laughs> I love this card. Oh, I want to make more, more and more and more and more. Oh yeah, let's put one on here too. Make them all the same. I love the colors. I love everything about this card. I guess I'm going to have to just kind of, I might even cut this off. Well, that's not really, anyways, I'll, I'll try and lean him more towards, just make sure it stays inside the card. All right, what do you think? Like, and so some, so it just lays flat, goes in your envelope. It's the size of a regular card, but I love that it stands up. So it can be on display. It's not just a, you know, here's a card, throw it away. I think that's cool. Now, if you are wanting somewhere to write, you can always cut a little piece to put on here and you can write on it. Idea. Um, I think I would do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh look, it's four inches by, I don't know measurements wise anyways um, four by two and three quarters I'm wow <laughs> perhaps you won't be so mass this afternoon perhaps I see a card or two in my future instead right so can you think of you know who would you give this to I know our lawyer was absolutely amazing in Manitoba. Um, I know a few people in the condo who would appreciate a card like this. I know a few people whose name starts with M, mom, <laughs> who would appreciate the hard work and she would have it on display until, you know, forever and ever. <laughs> so anyways, lots of fun. What do you think? Would you make one of these? Are you starting to love this birds and branches set? Love it. So there you go. Cool. All right, I hope you learned a new technique. If you hadn't seen this done before. Um, if you are interested in getting this birds and branches bundle, the number is 154107. And of course, you can go to my website where Canadians can order, jenhouston.stampinup.net. Um, or you can email me your order, that works too. And my email is jenhoustonstamps at gmail.com. Of course, there is the lovely host code, which if you are um, purchasing less than $200 worth that helps me out helps me to give out little prizes so the host code this right now is 9w jd t b y and 7 all righty there you go so coming up I don't want to go on to a new new feature of the week next week <laughs> um, Otherwise, Saturday, tomorrow, I'm going to have a color question come on uh, at about 1 o'clock Mountain Time. So it'll be a random question, just asking what color, what Stampin' Up! colors are, blah, blah, blah. 
and that's going to be uh, what we choose our colors for Wednesdays next week's Wednesday's card from it's always kind of fun and challenging for me for sure and it definitely kind of pushes us outside of our comfort zone um, Sunday is sharing Sunday share all your pictures of your projects that you've created I love seeing things like you know I know Nora always does the stained glass and um, or sorry Nora does the rocks and Melanie does the stained glass and Donna does quilting and all, oh, all sorts of fun things that we get to see how people are creative using their talents for good which I absolutely love and that's my whole purpose of sending out happy mail is to kind of make a difference in the world really relatively inexpensively and you know just surprising people in the mail how simple um, other than that I will see you back here Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time where I do another live with I guess a new feature of the week all right if you have any questions need a catalog need help with ordering I can do that for you just contact me at my email or you can just message me through Facebook whatever anyways have a great weekend get some time outdoors get out in nature you never know what you'll see maybe 45 elk will wander through your backyard too <laughs> all right bye everyone